What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt. I'm the Patriot Stacker, and in today's video, we're heading to my local coin shop, and we're going to see what kind of silver and gold bullion they have in stock. I think I'm going to check out their uh, foreign silver selection because that's one of my favorite things to pick up because they sell it at spot price, right at melt value. You can't beat the deal. I'm also going to take a look at their bullion and see what other kind of cool stuff they might have, some collectible coins, some graded coins. I don't know. We'll see what they got. Uh, hopefully I'll get some footage inside the coin shop and uh, then we'll head back home and we'll take a look if I purchase anything. So hopefully we find something good. Stay tuned. All right, so here is how my LCS does their foreign silver. They bag it all up by purity, which makes it so easy, especially when you're checking out so you can do the weights and calculate the uh, melt price. And they sell it all right at spot. So I'm looking through here. There were some 50% silver Canadian, some British coins, a couple random things. And then they had all of this coal U.S. constitutional silver bunch of Morgans, Peace Dollar, and as you see, most of them are hold. This one here, very unique, uh, wide hole on it. I did find a cool foreign coin. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But here they had all of this coal, uh, you know, messed up. It looked like a lot of these were like metal detecting finds or something like that, and a lot of hold coins. But this is all U.S., 90% silver. There's a really crazy looking uh, barber quarter. Uh, here we have a nice little standing liberty with a big hole in the middle. But all of this is U.S. 90% silver coins, and they're selling it right at melt value. So I feel like you can't beat it um, if you don't mind having some ugly coins. All right, so I'm home now, and I did end up getting a couple pieces here from my LCS. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to show off one little thing that I just recently picked up. I was just down in the Florida Keys, down in Key West, on vacation, and I picked up a really cool little souvenir here. This is a replica coin from the Atosha shipwreck. So the Atosha ship was salvaged off the uh, coast of the Florida Keys, and there was a lot of silver and gold bullion found on that ship. And what they do is they melt down the silver that was found and they make these replica coins. So it's not the actual coin, but it is a replica made with the silver that was found on the shipwreck and uh, makes it a lot less expensive than buying the actual coin. Uh, but I picked up this cool little souvenir. So the coin inside, the replica, it is 90% silver really cool and it's in a sterling silver bezel as you see here it does say 925 on the clasp and on the bezel there so what i did was uh, when i got home i ended up toning this artificially of course with some liver of sulfur gel and i thought it came out really cool uh, it was kind of like a faded color so it wasn't real shiny silver so I decided to give it some toning and I think it came out really cool. There's a lot of blue and purple in the coin, as you see. And then the bezel has like a really cool like brass or gold tone to it now. So I think that came out really cool with the uh, liver of sulfur toning process. Uh, it came with this little uh, pirate pouch as well. I got that for, I think I paid about $30 for that. There's probably only uh, maybe $10 worth of silver, if that, but it's a cool souvenir from Key West. I pick these up when I go down there. I think I have three or four in my collection already. All right, so let's get into all the coins and rounds that I picked up from my LCS. Uh, like I said, I was diving through the foreign silver bin. There wasn't a whole lot to choose from, but I did find one really cool coin. This is a one-tenth Balboa or an undecimo de Balboa. Uh, it's the same silver as a uh, US silver dime. So it's 90% silver. This one is from 1961, and it's a, uh, let's see here, an actual silver weight of 0 0.0723. So pretty cool. You know, like I said, it's uh, the same silver weight and silver content as a US dime. So it makes it easy to figure out the, uh, the purity and all that. Uh, but I love these Panamanian Balboa coins. I have a whole bunch of these in my collection. And I believe I got this for $1.80. Uh, I think we rounded up to two bucks. So got that for its melt value right at spot price. Can't beat it for a cool foreign silver coin. And the, we made these. These were actually uh, minted on U.S. planchets. And I believe in the Denver Mint, possibly. Uh, but 
they're basically US silver coins, just made for Panama. And uh, really cool, I love those coins. All right, so let's get into the silver bullion. I was looking through their silver bullion. They didn't have a whole lot to choose from, but I did find this 1982 Engelhardt Prospector round. Really cool coin here. And I like the, uh, the back here with the big E for Engelhardt. One troy ounce of three nines fine silver. And they were selling their silver at $32 an ounce that day. So, you know, 32 bucks for this round here. I collect these. I think they're really cool. I put it in this capsule when I got home and I think it was worth the money. All right, so last coin here is a pretty interesting little piece. Uh, we have a 1894 minted in New Orleans. And as you see, it's got some serious pitting or something going on. I think somebody must have poked at it with some kind of tool. They also drilled a big hole in here. But as you saw in the previous video, I was diving through the foreign silver, but they had all this coal junk U.S. silver at spot price. So, you know, some U.S. junk silver coins, 90% silver coins for spot for right at melt. You know, I'll pick constitutional silver up at melt all day long, even if it is ugly. And I think these are cool. I actually collect hold coins. So I was excited to pick this Morgan up. It's an 1894 minted in New Orleans, which is actually a little bit of a better date. But of course, there's no premium on this coin. It's all messed up. It's got a big hole, bunch of big marks in it. But you know what? I think it's unique. I think it's interesting. Uh, you know, if if this uh, if this coin could could talk, could tell a story, I'm sure he would have a story to tell. But, uh, you know, I think it's really interesting. And I ended up getting it for $18, um, which actually is a little under melt at the time. So not too bad at all. Really cool. I think it'll look good in my hold coin collection. So that's everything I picked up for my LCS. You know, premiums are high. Premiums are high on silver bullion, especially high on constitutional silver. And, you know, and there's a premium on Balboa coins as well. So when I can get stuff at melt, or if I could find something a little bit more unique in the silver bullion compared to just some buffaloes or something like that, you know, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. So I was excited to pick these up from my local coin shop. I love giving them my support. They're super friendly, great people over there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to film too much in the coin shop. They were really busy and I just had to get in and out. So. Pretty excited about my pickups. I hope you enjoyed checking out what I got from my local coin shop. And that's the video for today. So smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. And ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, folks, have a great day.